hello viewers welcome to my channel today we'll discuss about how to get rid of the check disk error at every startup many computers are facing with this problem many windows 8 and windows 10 computers so today we'll deal with how to get rid of this error see i'm shutting down and restarting my computer and i'll show you what the error actually is I have started my computer once again and you can see the boot screen and here is the error to skip disk checking press any key within one seconds this error actually is not checking the disk but it's just an error so I'm logging in my computer and I'll show you how to get rid of it all my disk drives are error free I'll show you one by one so that you will be ensured of that there are no errors in reality so let's go to my computer from explorer we will open my computer now I'll show you the status of the disks and drives right click properties and go to tools check and scanning the drive you see windows successfully scan the disk no errors were found i'll do the same for the other drives as well so the next drive see no errors same here and it's the same here so let's go to desktop open administrator common prompt by pressing windows x and clicking cmd admin out here type chk ntfs and drive to check if there are any errors i'm checking for drive c you can see that drive is not dirty so what you have to do is type chk dsk space slash f space slash r and press enter you can see that we are enabling manually enabling chk dsk that is check disk at startup press y and startup check disk has been enabled manually so what you have to do now is stop that for doing that we have to open registry editor go to run type regedit and out here we have to go to h key local machine system current control set control and session manager in session manager we go to this key boot execute and we have to edit this key so just erase everything before the asterisk till the drive later like this and click ok that auto check auto check you should delete that and save this key so you're done sometimes you have to delete the entire part if this doesn't work for you you can delete the entire part and now restart the computer and you'll see the error is gone see there are no errors it's the boot screen again I restarted my computer see no errors and we are going straight to the login screen 
so there you go we have solved this check this error at startup if you like my video please comment and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and please share for more updates thank you